time, we're hearing the frantic 911 calls made just moments after that massive gas explosion shook the city of Melvindale earlier this month. The now Detroit's Jennifer Ann Wilson got a hold of those tapes, and Jennifer joins us live with a listen and some more on that. Jennifer? Yeah, it has been over two weeks since that crash triggered an explosion here at Allen and Greenfield, and the aftermath is still pretty widespread. You can see behind me a burnt out building, and then all the way across the street, the intensity of the heat melted this street sign. And as we pan over to the intersection itself, you can see that is still closed as construction crews continue to work on putting together the pieces. Panning over just a little bit further, this tower of ash used to be an electricity pole. And to show you just how far this heat reached, we're going to cross another street over here. Check out that building, the siding completely melted off. And when I spoke to the Melvindale chief of police, he says in his 25 years, this is the biggest incident he's ever had to deal with. And the number of 911 calls his team had to deal with was overwhelming. The most chilling I listened to came from a man who was right here when that initial crash happened. Melvindale 911, what's your emergency? Hi, hi. Um, I need, um, I don't know where I am. I, I someone just like crashed their car. My friend just crashed his car. There's a fire. Are you on Greenfield? Uh, Yes, yes. Let yes. me change your way to the fire department. Stay in line. Please. Andy, stop. Andy, stop. Oh my God. Andy, stop. Andy. Andy, stop. Andy, please. Andy, please. Andy, please. Andy, please. Andy, please. The call went on like that with the ringing and him frantically pleading for help for about 60 seconds, maybe a little bit more. And that becomes even more chilling when you're out here and you see that this melted piece of what appears to be a car, the front headlight, um, even a piece of tire attached to it. And just that ringing gives the appearance that nobody was actually listening to this man's plea for help. So I talked to the chief of police here in Melvindale and asked him what was happening during that time when all we hear is just ringing over and over. And he says that somebody was actually listening, but they were also on the radio trying to get emergency crews here to this intersection to make sure that those people got the help that they needed. You're going to hear from the chief of police in person live. Well, actually, you'll hear from him coming up at six o'clock. I'm reporting live in Melvindale, Jennifer Ann Wilson, the now Detroit.